hi guys i hope you're doing great today thank you so much for watching the videos and subscribing i appreciate you immensely welcome back to my kitchen in this video i want to show you how i cook my beef neck bones and i'm doing neck bones because it's not mostly bones guys it's pretty good meat on these bones so let's go the next thing i'm going to do is grind my seasoning so i have a bunch of jars here on the countertop and uh, um it's an all-spice <laughs> seasoning so i'll show you what i am putting in this allspice seasoning and I'm not measuring I'm just eyeing what I put in so I have some dehydrated ginger and this dehydrated ginger I got from doing ginger juice in the kitchen I don't throw away the fibers I dehydrate them and use them in my meals because they're still pretty good there's the, the fibers still pretty strong after I do the juice. Then we have some coriander. This is fennel. I'm putting in just about three cardamoms because they're pretty pungent. So I don't want them to take over. A little cumin. Dehydrated onion flakes. I usually put quite a bit of onion flakes. Crushed red pepper. Some black pepper, ground black pepper. And we have turmeric. Don't want the dish to be yellow, so I'm not adding too much turmeric. If you add too much turmeric, then your dish is going to be yellow like a curry. And a little pink salt. I'll just cover and grind. Just make sure that all those coriander, fennel, and cardamom seeds are ground properly. And guys, usually I grind my spices on demand because when you grind your spices or even when you buy ground spices in the store and take them home, they lose their potency after a while. So I get mostly seeds and use them. Grind them myself. So now I've ground my spices just gonna go ahead and sprinkle over the meat in the slow cooker this is just a shortened version of the video just to show what's in my all spice season so I'll link the video and you can check it out how I cook that beef neck bone guys thank you so much for watching and subscribing sharing commenting liking it means a lot to me. I appreciate it. If you have watched this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and remember to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.